Hello, this is Hazel Dex and welcome to Don't Look Back. It's a fun sky-scroller. Basically, I've had to do this for the second time because Windows Movie Maker always crashes and it didn't recover this time my narration, so shit. Anyway, to get away from this guy, you just have to keep jumping like that, see, and he won't catch you. Then you have to get this gun, your only weapon in this game, and kill him. It's quite fast going, but you'll notice its slowness later on in the game. Alright, jump on these platforms that don't look like they're actually aligned, but they are. Shoot down that retard bat that takes one hit. Then dodge these pointless static types that don't hurt you or do anything as long as you keep as long as you keep moving. Then shoot the spider. They take one hit as well. Run away from that one. Then taunt him in here, and shoot him. Then get up the rope. This game's got pretty simple graphics, but it's still good. Pixelated. Yep, now this is a pain in the ass room. The strategy that I failed to grasp, well, failed to remember at the beginning, is that you've got to shoot the left bat, because this game surrounds you often. And basically, you'll see it's the left bat that's always killing me. Not maybe personally, but because of it. Because it means I've got them coming in everywhere. Once you kill that left bat, they're coming purely from, at you from one side, and you can easily shoot them down like this look. See? Owned! You've got owned! Anyway, now for the lightning. Now I know these look like they're difficult to dodge, they're not. Anyway, this one looks like a pain, but... The motion sensing on these things is very bad, and you can easily stand in the middle. Well, it's not bad, I suppose, they intended it to be like that. Now, down the dark platform that's so pointless, into the holes of darkness. Now, this gets annoying. Basically, you've got to shoot the first one, like that, and just keep jumping, you look to get away like we did for the first one. Now, you don't have to go back and kill these things, I just do it often because vengeance! Now I messed up that time, the strategy here is just to wait for them to fall and then kill them. But run away from that one because he's on a higher platform and will just kill you if you use the previous strategy. Now I mess up a couple of times here but basically just dodge this lightning and then wait for them to be in optimal positions before jumping. Like that. And now jump down here and we're out. Now, this gets annoying. These platforms disintegrate, as you can plainly see. <coughs> which means you can only stand on them for like, one to two seconds. So, make sure you're quick. Now, this jump's a pain. You can make it, but you've got to be at the very edge of the platform. So, it'll take you a few attempts unless you're really lucky. There you go. I find quite a few things in this game often fluke. Anyway. There's that, this platform that will disappear after a, certain, after a few seconds. <coughs> they get also annoying later on. Anyway, doesn't matter that you don't make that because you'll spawn here, shoot the bat and wait for the optimal time to jump. Now it's a random guess when the optimal time is, but I'm guessing it's like, there, see, I made it, just. I'm too slow there. You gotta be quick on these. <coughs> now here, you basically gotta make these platforms last because you've got to. They've gotta last until that respawns. Then just jump along here, respawn here, or jump up there. As far as this isn't a very interesting commentary, but not too much to say. Now welcome to the first boss. Now the strategy here is to shoot him in the back. Now I mess up here and fail to remember the strategy. You've got to stand here, look, he jumps over you, shoot him in the back. Then just stand still, he'll jump over you, shoot him in the back. Now this is the hard one. I failed so many times at this, see? He will kill you. Now it looks like you could never get hit in there, but you can. I've finally figured out how you do it. And I realise there is a trick to it. Now basically here, you've got to jump far enough over him so that he won't immediately turn around. There you go, see? He dies. Pretty easy stuff. Now these are ninjas. These guys get annoying. It takes me numerous attempts to get this guy dead. <coughs> <coughs> now 
Ninjas are by far some of the most annoying normal enemies on this game. The way to kill them is simple. It's simple enough anyway. All you've got to do is jump is hit them like that, see? When they're jumping. When they're defenseless. That's the time to strike. Now this is just hell. Three ninjas coming at you from two sides. You're toast. I remember the first time I played this, well, got to this stage anyway, I killed them all. I have no idea how I did it. I probably killed one on my way out, and then there was only two left to kill. But I don't do that this time. The smartest place thing here is to run, and don't come back, because you don't need to. Like that, see. However, I stupidly, because I, of how I play this game, try and go back and kill them. I abandon it eventually, but waste precious time doing this. So, yeah. This is me failing at trying to dodge ninjas. Don't bother. <coughs> Don't waste your own time as you play this game. Now, all the games I'm currently doing on this, if you care, are from Addicting Games. So go on here to Addicting Games and check out this game out. It's okay. Right, now we get attacked by a swarm of bats from two sides. Now, this isn't as bad as it sounds. Just stand here in front of the bridge and just keep switching sides and shooting the bats as they come because they go slow enough so that you can shoot them first then wait for the bridge to respawn and off we go. Now welcome to the demon. The demons are annoying because they rapid fire and their fireballs are a lot quicker than your gun. So just the, pa the first time I fought this guy I killed him instantly. Well not instantly but before he could hurt me I didn't even have to try a second attempt. Takes me forever on this one. Well, not forever. A few seconds. Uh, few attempts. Basically, you've got to just match the pattern of the fireballs. But I failed to do that for the most part. I think it's this one. Yep, there you go. See? And then he explodes into more fireballs to so make sure you're not too close. Ah, oh, this is a deadly combination a ninja and a snake. And that ninja's got magical powers. Watch. He was on the screen, wasn't he? Where the fuck's he on? Doesn't matter if you even walk all the way up to this cliff, look, he doesn't appear again. Weird, isn't it? Anyway. Now this can take a few attempts. It takes me one attempt this time, because I'm lucky. But basically, you've got to get on here, and, as before, last on the disintegrating platforms until you get to this. Now there's a strategy for doing these two deadly demons. Take the bottom one on first to start off with, and basically, you got to wait until it's over by that rope, then go in, and start shooting him. Because look, now some of his shots, the most deadly ones, the majority of them anyway, are being deflected by the rock, meaning you'll have less chance of being hit. Now, for this guy, you just need to jump up to the second platform when it appears, and shoot him, then duck back down before he can hit you, and he'll blow up in short order. So yeah, welcome to the second boss. Now the last two minutes of this video are me trying to and failing to beat this boss. Now basically you can get hit in the first, the moment you drop down, because you can just jump up, look, hit his head, that's the weak point here. But this boss is so cheap, he has so many attacks, it's ridiculous. Because he summons bats, spiders and stalactites, all of which can kill you. And he fires fireballs. And um, he just basically does anything he pleases. And it's not like, and I don't think a walkthrough would help. Because, personally, it's random. So he can do anything at any time. The most deadly attack is an arc of fireballs. We've all seen it earlier if you were looking. And that's my point, he can do it whenever he pleases. Now usually, he'll keep his attacks to a weak form until you hurt him a few times. Like, see, now he's only like firing one fireball at a time, or two. <coughs> but, see, now he's firing two, I've hurt him twice. But later on, he'll start summoning like three or four spiders at a time. That is fucking impossible. Now, if you st I suppose if you stayed on these platforms, 
none of the summon creatures would hurt you except for the bats that you could just shoot. But the problem is you can't stay on the platform, because see there, he's firing fireballs that hit both of them. I suppose you could there, look, but it takes some damn skill. I know this boss can be beaten, but I think I, because my cousin beat him, but I think it was a random fluke. And if not, he's more skilled than me, got to admit. So, this let's play could just end about right now, because I might not beat him. But for now, goodbye, hope you see me again on this let's play.